Well, of course my favorite living judge is Judge Napolitano. I mean, come on. Yeah! How about we put him on the Supreme Court, right? My favorite living judge was Scalia. Um, I'm, I've always been a, been a big fan of Clarence Thomas, who is very liberty-minded. Um, I give a, a major props to the president for appointing Neil Gorsuch because Neil Gorsuch has an expansive definition of privacy. And we have sacrificed our liberty for security for too long, folks. FISA courts, Claire McCaskill, the 60th vote to authorize the unconstitutional warrantless surveillance of American citizens. That is un-American. Claire McCaskill believes that if she wants to listen to your phone calls or read your emails, she doesn't need to go to a judge. And Josh Hawley does too. Man. Do we want to replace one bad lawyer with another? We need strict constitutionalist judges, but we need constitutionalist senators too, which is why I should be your next senator from Missouri. I will protect all of your liberties all of the time. Yeah! Okay, so uh, this question, so we're starting off with Austin. Okay. All right. I'm glad you had a comment about uh, Best in Claire, because that's my question. I'd like each candidate to name three areas in which they can easily best Senator Claire Bayer McCaskill yes. should you win the primary. Absolutely. Um, well, I'll say this again in my, in my closing remarks, but I, just, I do want to expand on this. I do believe I am the best candidate to beat Josh Hawley and then Claire McCaskill, because Claire is bad on privacy, she's bad on taxes, she voted against the tax cuts, and she voted against Neil Gorsuch, she's bad on criminal justice reform, she's bad on things that the Democrats wish that she was good on for American liberties. That's why she's going down this fall. She's the most unpopular senator in Congress, but somehow Josh Hawley's losing to her in the polls, FYI. That's a problem. You need a candidate who can get not only all of the Republican votes, all of the Libertarian votes, which by the way, that was 6% the last time. 50% Republicans, 6% the Libertarians. I'll get most of the independents, and I'll get a few of the same Democrats that are left over, if there's any of them left. <laughs> that's, how, what, that's the coalition that is going to beat Claire McCaskill. If we do what we always done, we'll get what we have always got. We faced her head on twice. We need a candidate that can unite the clans. We need a candidate that can put together a coalition to fire Claire McCaskill. She's got $11 million in the bank. She's gonna have $30 million to come after us this fall. But folks, if money could buy election, wouldn't Hillary be the president right now? So you're gonna need a candidate who can work harder. You're gonna need a candidate who can unite the clans. And you're gonna need a candidate who's better on the issues. That's Austin Peterson for U.S. Senate. Yeah. The last thing I'm disappointed with the president on, I'll be honest with you, because I love that guy. If you see my truck, I got a MAGA truck. If you see my truck, I got a MAGA truck. If you see my truck, I got a MAGA truck. He didn't smoke it, he just had edibles.